Welcome to Australasian Bus and Coach TV and today we're at Sydney's Olympic Park precinct to which we've driven the Fuso Rosa which has been the biggest seller in the small bus segment in the Australian market for more than 10 years. So today we're having a look at some of the reasons for that long-term success as well as checking out some of the recent improvements. The main competition for the Rosa to date has been the Toyota Coaster. Explaining what he sees as some of the virtues of his small Japanese bus is Fuso product planning manager Kevin Johnston. There's a lot of reasons for the success of the Rosa bus. It's really important that it's extremely reliable and good value for money. The 25 seat bus is one of the best value cost per seat buses uh, in the market today. Other features that uh, are unique about Rosa, the deluxe model comes with three point seat belts. Passengers enjoy uh, high back comfortable seats. Our door design is a lot further forward, closer to the front axle. Benefits of the set forward door are that the driver can see uh, the passengers entering far more easily. On top of that it allows us to have one more seat because when the door is set further back there's uh, one less seat available. We find that the people who most often buy our, our bus are schools, uh, tourism buses, uh, buses transporting seniors, community buses, those kinds of things. Fuso has made some recent improvements to the Rosa while other basics remain the same such as the trusty 5 litre engine, the choice of manual or automatic transmissions, the choice of standard or deluxe seats, and the colour choice of white, white, or if you prefer, white. Probably the most significant development is the option of a short wheelbase version with 22 seats rather than 25. A minor facelift involves a chrome grille and chrome headlight surrounds. There is an infrared reversing camera, and for the first time, the Rosa has a multimedia unit, including DVD player, sat-nav and Bluetooth. The Rosa's a good little bus to drive. It's got good get up and go, despite being a small engine, obviously. And we sat on 100 k's on the freeway at 2100 RPM, very nicely, remarkably quietly, considering the engine's just alongside you. Very smooth six-speed ASIN transmission, stops well, very good turning circle, comfortable, that's despite it not being a suspension seat, but it's got good independent front suspension underneath. From the passenger's point of view, I'd say it'd have to be very good. I like the high back seats. Now, it could be a bit of a problem for operators who uh, don't want kids to be mucking up below the high seats where they can't see them, but there's zero chance of whiplash. Just a couple of minor quibbles with this no frills bus. One is that it's a, a manual adjustment for the passenger side mirror, which I find a little bit annoying in this day and age, and there's no option for electronic controls because there's no options on this bus. Other minor quibble is that there's not much play in the, the driver's seat. It wasn't an issue for me, but for taller drivers, it may be. But all up, it's, it's not surprising that it's been the market leader for the past decade. 